Hey guys, uh, Nathaniel here. Uh, another really short one. This is on box spots. Um, let's get this started. So, I guess I'll, I'll do a little bit of explaining what a box plot is uh, and what this actually visualizes. You can do a box plot on a single x value. You, you basically can only do it on a single x value. Uh, so in this case, we're visualizing the total bill. Um, so, what do we have? Um, you'll notice we have a box. Okay, the line right through the center of the box represents the medium. Uh, each line here, this represents the bottom quartile, and this represents the top quartile. And then you'll have whiskers. Um, so whiskers, well, so whiskers are, it slightly depends. Uh, they are a couple interquartile ranges apart, generally 1.5 interquartile ranges. Um, so what this will mean is that from this quartile to this quartile, the first to the third quartile, that's an interquartile range. Uh, and so you'll go ahead and you'll you'll take that quartile range, you'll stack it here, and you'll put it here. Uh, whiskers can be shorter than that um, if there aren't any data points after this. So our latest, lowest data point is here. You'll then see outliers. Uh, so you have a couple of outliers that are past the interquartile range. They, they can be listed here. Um, so again, uh, you'll have the box, you'll, you'll have the whiskers, and you'll have the outliers. Um, if you've not seen this before, it's an excellent tool for visualizing uh, data points. Uh, and data sets. Um, the only tool I think is a little bit better is violin plots, which are awesome, um, which I will show you right after this. You can go ahead and you can add in uh, this notch feature. It's a little bit cool. So this notch feature will add in a confidence interval for the medium as well right for you. The confidence interval is estimated using bootstrap. Okay. Uh, next you can also set these whiskers to be uh, different amounts of interquartile ranges. So if I set them to be more, we'll get fewer outliers. Uh, notice the bottom one didn't change at all. Okay. You can also give an X and a Y value. Um, when giving an X and a Y value, you'll get multiple box plots. Um, so that's, that's basically what you'll get. Uh, again, this can be useful for visualizing distribution of data. Um, and look, I, I think this is so much more incredibly useful than the swarm plot or the, um, or the strip plot. I really couldn't tell whether Saturday had a higher median or Sunday had a higher median. I knew it had more outliers. That was pretty obvious. Uh, but in this case, I know that Saturday has a high spread. So you can see this by the size of these whiskers and the size of the interquartile range. But also Saturday and Sunday, you get this bump in weekend traffic. Um, so, I don't know, pretty cool. Um, you can go ahead and you can also specify a hue. So with this hue, this will go ahead and it will set um, uh, for each uh, category uh, in your X uh, coordinate, you'll, you'll go ahead and you'll set, uh, you'll have uh, one of each of the hues. So hue must be a categorical variable. So we've got these two, smokers and non-smokers, and we can see their distributions. Um, smokers, for example, do tend to pay much less on Saturday, um, but there's a lot of outliers as well. Uh, or I'm sorry, non-smokers seem to pay less, but there's an outlier, or they're outliers, um, or not, they tend to purchase less. Okay. Uh, the final thing that I want to show you here is that you can throw swarm plots on top of these. Um, so we've got a box plot and you throw a swarm plot on top of it. And this can sort of show you just how big these data sets are relative to each other. So Friday is pretty small, um, whereas Saturday is pretty big. And you couldn't necessarily have told that based on the box plots themselves. Um, so this is all cool. It's, again, fairly simple. Um, I hope I explained this well and, and you sort of uh, understand what a box plot is and why it's really cool for visualizing your data. I think you're going to be really stoked when I show you violin plots, which are right next. Um, so definitely check that out if you haven't. Okay, thank you, and uh, I hope I'll see you next time.